Jack O'Connor, a familiar face from a year ago, and he is going to kick his leg and fire, and the 2024 season is underway at five minutes after three. Nine-game streak that dates back to the final run of contest for Hofstra in 2023. Bounces it up the middle to O'Farrell. Shows off his skills in getting to the baseball, but his throw, Jack O'Connor in this one. O'Connor quick toss, and this is going to get away. That trickles out into shallow right field. So put a runner in scoring position is Dylan Palmer, who led off the ball game with an infield single. The only blemish so far in this first inning for Jack O'Connor. Here's another. That'll be up the middle and through, and it's going to mean a run. Hofstra out front 1-0 on the RBI knock from Steve Harrington. Count full to Alex McCoy. And a 3-2 is swung through, and there's the final out of the opening half inning. Just a third start all time today. Here's a 3-1. And O'Farrell squares this up nicely. That is deep to left, and the ballpark will not hold it. The first at bat of the year for Griff O'Farrell, for a Virginia Cavalier for that matter, leaves the dish, and we're even up at one apiece on opening day. the total from a year ago talked about the 42 driven home as well as the, the 20 doubles uh, 100 plus hits which gets your attention but this allowed one to get his offensive portion established at Virginia something to behold and now two decades plus into his tenure he heads back after a quick conversation with our umpiring crew and, and before the senior Rosso can look at a pitch how about this well, maybe he was just deking him a little bit. There's the better of the moves. Opening at home again, something that is a luxury in his era. How about this play by O'Farrell? Will not be able to work at the first in time. No one could. Two, three, four, and five spots, all upperclassmen, all senior leaders. 16 doubles and a triple to go with it. He's got a solid base knock into right field here and will have driven home a couple of runs to place Hofstra out front again. Drove home one in the first, drives home one here in the third. And his 3-1, that is hit toward the gap in right center. Going to be a long, long run for Salke. He'll watch it hop over the wall for a ground rule double. And Hofstra's lead will grow off Jack O'Connor and here's Lane looking to add to that total. He'll bounce this down to third. Look in the runner back at second and firing across. Boy that took some great work from Ethan Anderson at first base. Worked their pitch count up. Among the brightest spots Jack O'Connor. But he has run into some trouble early here. Gets a liner into right field. Would have taken him away from home and his wife and four daughters there on Long Island. Perhaps more than desired. He said Wanted to stay close to home, wanted to stay in college baseball. He's done it with his Hofstra squad. Oh, Hanlon. He was trying to hold this Virginia offense down one more time here in the sixth. And on this occasion, six gets enough lumber on it to dump this out into shallow right center. And that's a base knock for O'Farrell. So he has two of Virginia's three hits. Representing the tying run at the plate for Virginia. And this is into right. Going to be filled in on a hop up into the glove by the right fielder Harrington, and that means a run will come home to score for UVA. Becker strides across home plate, first for him. They're out there for the taking on the base pass. And ball four will load him up. And he grounds this up the middle. That gets through. He will. A couple of Cavaliers going to come home to touch the plate, and Henry Ford has his first base knock. It comes with a pair of RBIs and it ties the game for Virginia at four apiece on opening day. Triple is part of a 299 campaign a year ago. Trying to get the average jump started here. This won't fall, but it will be deep enough in left field to give Virginia the lead. A sacrifice fly and an RBI for Casey Salke. 2023 has their first such frame of the new year. Ditto, it gives this a ride. That keeps carrying all the way into the seats beyond the left center field wall. And Virginia's lead grows. Harrison Didowick gives it a ride. Sends it out of the yard and Virginia now opening it up to 7-4.
with a six run sixth inning. Here's one more look at the swing from Didowick. A ball that just kept carrying toward the clubhouse. Jaxel remains out there atop the mound. He worked a flawless sixth inning. We'll give up a base knock to Palmer. Everybody has so far today, right? Four for four. How about this start? for the Hofstra leadoff man in 2024. Talk about great starts. It was the last undefeated team in the country of Virginia baseball. And recent era, very historic. This driven by Kennedy in the left. That's off the wall. Having to wait on it to make sure it was down. Now motoring on around third is Palmer. He's going to score. Hofstra takes one of those runs right back and has two more in scoring position in the top of the seventh frame. Down the right field line for Hofstra. This is going to go toward the Virginia dugout. Broke the Valley League stolen base record held by Juan Pierre this summer. So you take his speed, you take his power from earlier on the ground rule double. That is a huge out for Virginia. He grounded out to bring home a run in the third. Could do the same thing again here. May very well, although this could be two. The turn is in time, and Virginia will escape with the lead. Boretus and a first pitch given a ride deep to left and this will reach the seats a tie ball game on a solo shot to lead off the eighth inning for the center fielder Pelcher and it is a brand new ball game here in the eighth Hofstra we said in an inning or so ago, no signs of going away after Virginia took a three-run advantage with a six-run sixth. Hofstra came back with two in the seventh and now a leadoff home run here in the eighth. Top 50 list. And that will work its way on through. Ford is aboard once more. And this time carries the go-ahead run for Virginia. And this 3-2 misses. Salki draws the wall. Here's McKenna's pitch. And Didowick does get this bunt down back to McKenna. He's going to go to third and get it over there in time to secure the force out. Though he falls behind 0-1. This is through the wickets and all the way to the backstop. Runners move up to second and third. Virginia with the go-ahead run. Now 90 feet away and will bring Godbow to the plate with the bases loaded after they decide not to give in. Twice is grounded out with a fly out sandwiched in between. This is off the mid of the catcher. Runner comes home. Saki slides in safely and Virginia has an 8-7 lead. 3-2 and this is kept in front by camera but it is ball four at the plate, the Empire State native. Takes a look at this one as it trickles on by. That'll mean another Virginia run. Didowick comes home to touch the plate. It is 9-7 UVA. And here is the first year Becker. Taking a look at ball four outside. The Virginia shortstop takes a look at a called strike three. Prime spot with the bases loaded, and this has to look too familiar for Hofstra. Kicks off the catcher over in front of the Virginia dugout, and a third run comes home in similar fashion. And here's the payoff pitch. Able to get the strikeout, but it comes only after right here in the ninth inning to keep the game alive. And the first pitch. A strike before this is bounced up the middle and through, and Rosso has a multi-hit day. Solid relief numbers. Trying to build some of those at Virginia. This will help. Able to get the strikeout of Kennedy. And an entertaining game to boot. Here's the 3-2 pitch to Harrington. And he will line this into left field. That's going to get down. And Hofstra will bring the tying run to the plate in the ninth inning. Who was one of the leaders of this club a year ago. McCoy will send this through the right side. And that's going to be at least a run. Coming around third to score is Rosso. It is 10-8, and the tying run is aboard at first. And moving with the pitch and easily taking second base is McCoy in Hofstra colors. 
And will swing through the 3-2 offering from Till. He went upstairs with 92 on the gun to secure the second out. And here's an 0-2 pitch from Till to Pelcher. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Virginia comes from behind and holds on for an opening day victory in Charlottesville.